How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today it is day one of Tattoo Warriors and we got some amazing artists competing against each other. It is gonna be an intense competition and I cannot wait to see what these artists are gonna do. Thank you so much for tuning in, I appreciate you. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Yeah, man, how are you guys feeling? You guys are ready? No, it's gonna be exciting, man. I wanna thank you guys for being here and being committed to this competition. It's gonna be dope. I'm just excited that you guys are amazing artists ready to showcase some crazy tattoos. And I can't wait to see what you guys are gonna do in this competition. I'm just pretty much really excited. Such an amazing artist all across the board in one room. So mm -hmm. I wanna see what you guys got. If you give it 100% of your shop, give it 150% here. Mm -hmm. And one thing I do wanna add is that because we are having uh, also the judges here, a special guest uh, being part of the competition, you guys can use us as a resource. You guys can ask us, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Then we'll be more than happy to sit with you guys and say, I think, you know, give you guys some options, some suggestions. And I do wanna present here the trophy of Tattoo Warriors. It, it was uh, custom made uh, by my dad. He's uh, an amazing welder, so he made it out of card parts. So he got very creative because the whole point of this competition is to get creative. As far as today goes, we are gonna be doing uh, a forearm. You, I saw some amazing stencils already. I already got nervous, I don't know why. <laughs> I got a little nervous, but I'm excited, you know? And at the end of today, we're gonna announce who's gonna be the best of the day. The best tattoo of today will be getting a gift basket uh, sponsored by Higher Level. And uh, they put together a beautiful gift basket with a whole bunch of tattoo supplies to whoever gets or whoever does the best tattoo of today. And unfortunately, at the end of today, we are also gonna be eliminating one person. So with that being said, let's get this day started. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to Tattoo Warriors. Let's go and introduce some of the artists. Hey, guys, how we doing? How'd good. you guys come up with the design? It's like a uh, bunch of little odes to like uh, the emerald tablets and like creation and like different things like oh, that. Oh, that's amazing. Did you guys come up with it together? No, nah, just me. He's a mastermind. Hey, you're like, that's why I came to him. All right, well, good luck. Thank you. What's up, you guys? This is Joseph Cabello from Tulare, California, representing Body Art Gallery. I've been tattooing 16 years. I started tattooing about a month after I got my first tattoo. When I first started seeing the advertisements for the competition, I knew right away, like, I wanted to get in on that. Uh, Mr. Ray is, gets down, and I love his work. If they're gonna put something together, they're definitely gonna pick really great artists to compete. Uh, I feel, for myself, having been tattooing 16 years, I need to find ways to push myself, to go further and, and push past you know, any barriers that I've created for myself. I'm super stoked about competing. I love uh, competition. I love doing conventions for the competitions. I love uh, that competition kind of brings out the best of us. Just the thrill of not knowing what everyone's gonna do. Uh, everyone coming in correct, you know, bringing their A game. And I'm super stoked for the opportunity. If you'd like to collect a tattoo from me or follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at jcabellart underscore B-A-G. What inspired me to start tattooing was uh, when I was in elementary, middle school, high school, I used to draw, paint. I did like pretty much every medium, yeah, aerosol, acrylics, oils, charcoals, like regular pencil. When I turned 18, I got my first tattoo and uh, one of the homies showed me how to, how to set up the machine. And when I first tried to do it, I sucked at it. Me not doing good at it made me more inspired to like pursue it. So how are we doing today? Good, good. good how are you? Good. Are you ready? Yes. Ready are you go. feeling? Good. I'm a little nervous. A little nervous. Once I get into the groove, I should be all right. I bet you will. All right. So what are we doing today? So we got a female here. We're gonna kind of do some like dark lettering kind of stuff, you know? No, I just gave him all creative freedom. I was in my first competition. I'll give you all creative freedom. Do whatever you like. Oh, you trust him completely. He's done all my work. So. He's done all your work. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. Well, good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Thomas Salcido. I am from Phoenix, Arizona. I've been a tattoo artist for 10 years, and I specialize mostly in black and gray realism. 
I've had a passion for art ever since I was a kid. It might have gotten me into a little trouble here and there, but eventually I was able to turn it all around and make a career of it. Coming up in this industry, you know, hasn't always been easy. Dealing with doubts and worries from loved ones and sometimes myself. You know, but now, 10 years into tattooing, I find myself always trying to learn and grow every day, which is why I'm excited to join this competition, to compete against other dope artists and to really test my skills on a competitive level. My Instagram handle is Thomas the Artist. Uh, seeing a lot of my uncles get tattooed, they used to have a lot of uh, tattoo parties at their houses and stuff like that. And I used to just be a kid, kind of just looking at them getting tattooed and stuff like that. And it was inspiring to see, and I knew I wanted to get tattooed. At the moment, I just wasn't sure if I wanted to become a tattoo artist. I just knew for sure I was gonna get tattooed. And then obviously it just spiraled into actually being the tattoo artist. Not only do we have talented artists competing in this competition, but we also have amazing judges. So let me introduce today's judges. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Daniel Rocha, and I will be one of the judges participating in Tattoo Warriors. I specialize in black and gray realism and I've been tattooing since 2007. I also own Seven Tattoo Studio and I am the co-founder and instructor of Arts of Tattooing. What's good everybody? My name is Luis Chacon. I will be one of the judges participating in Tattoo Warriors. I specialize in large scale black and gray. I have over 13 years of tattooing experience. I am proud owner of Heart of Brass Tattoo here in Lindsay, California. I am super excited to see all the projects these amazing artists are about to execute. See you there, Tattoo Warriors. So how are we doing today? Oh, we're doing good. A little right. behind. But I'm pretty confident in you. For sure. All right, so what are we doing? Uh, today we are doing a black bear drinking a cold beer. I'm sorry, a what? Cold beer. And who came up with this idea? This was all his. It's based off of a true story. Yeah, what? This, this bear in Washington State had uh, broke into a campsite, scared everybody, uh -huh. and proceeded to drink all their beer. No way! Yeah, so just a little homage to my home state. I love that. And I am going a little larger than I usually do for a one session piece. But uh, if I move as efficiently as I always do, we'll have plenty of time to finish this. A little out of your comfort zone, but we always love a challenge, right? Absolutely. Roger Perilla here. Uh, I'm a tattooer out of Atlanta, Georgia at Black Owl Tattoos. I've been tattooing for about 17 years now. I'm known more or less for doing a lot of color work, uh, specifically on people of color. For those of you who don't know, it's definitely a underrepresented group in the tattoo community in general. Uh, just from day one, I've always been tattooing people with more melanated skin. And so it's nothing out of the ordinary for me so I don't particularly think that it's uh, extraordinary, but apparently from the outside looking in, uh, a lot of people do appreciate it. I've been competing my whole life, just as far as sports go. I've never been super consumed by sports, but I've always played sports my entire life. So having the opportunity to compete in this contest as an adult, more than excited to participate and looking forward to it. For this episode, I wanted you guys to get to know these artists, their personality, their character, their style and the way they tattoo. So for next episode, we're gonna have every artist share a specific tip, trick, or a secret technique that they have that help them elevate their game and get them to where they are right now. So make sure to tune in on the next episode because we are gonna be sharing so much knowledge and we wanna help everyone in the industry to elevate their game. What are we doing? I can only see like the bottom uh, so, part of this. Uh, you know, I'm a big Disney fan <gasps> from the movie Coco. Oh my God, I Next love it. Again. So it's a big colorful piece today. All color, oh my goodness. And you have all color all over you. Yeah, I've done that, I've done this piece somewhere as well. You're the only artist she goes to in trust apparently. Well, now. <laughs> She's like, I met him and I, right? oh, that's amazing. Well, Thank good you. luck, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. My name is Christian Navarro, AKA Big C Tattoos. I am from Phoenix, Arizona and I have been tattooing for the last five years. I am known for tattooing my color realism, portraits, and horror-themed tattoos. In the last two years, I hit the road, traveled across the country, 
to many conventions and made lots of friends and competed and took home many trophies. I am extremely excited to compete in Tattoo Warriors. With that being said, my Instagram handle is Big C Tattoos, and I am extremely excited to see everybody out there. Uh, you know, I used to be a welder for about six, seven years, and I actually had long problems from breathing in all the chemicals, but so with the medical history and my art background, I had to pretty much figure out what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. So I went full throttle into tattooing about six years ago. Ooh, it looks like we're gonna be doing color? Yes. That's amazing. Did you guys come up with the design together? Yes. So he's an artist as well too over Great. at Ink Body Art. Okay. And he's a fan of Hellboy and we came up with the design together. We both pieced it together. So you guys are co-artists? Yeah, yeah, we're co-artists. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. dang. Yeah, I'm the owner. So you can't, you can't really mess this up because no, you gotta no, no. see him and, every day. And he's watching and stuff, so he knows. You know. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna do amazing, good thank luck. You, thank you. Hi, my name is Jacob Lopez. I've been tattooing now for 11 years. I specialize in color and black and gray realism. And truly what got me into tattoos and art was Dragon Ball Z. I've been drawing that since I could remember. And I didn't really have a career path set in place for me. I'm proud to say that I've turned that into a career. I'm passionate and obsessed about tattoos. And I geek out to this day with my clients and other artists about tattoos. I can't wait to see what this journey is going to be like, where it's going to take me. And I'm super excited to be part of this competition and showcase my artwork. You can follow me at Jacob J Inc. on all platforms. This is absolutely my passion. That that there is no question about it. Uh, and I only want to grow, learn, and get better. I see myself as a student. I don't want to put pressure on anyone. But I just put the clock of how many hours you guys got left on the on the TV. Nine hours, twenty nine minutes, and fifty seconds. <laughs>
So go visit them, get your stuff, and all of our artists are gonna be here happily supplied with everything that they need. Yeah, I, I think someone is gonna have to drop the ball to be able to to be able to pick. <laughs> I gotta say, Roger is strong as hell. Yeah. Roger, Joseph is fucking killing it. Man, that cover up though, that graffiti cover up, like just it, it gives me chills seeing that one. You know, just that 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 concept. I didn't even know it was a cover up at first. No, I'm curious to see about that cover though, because there's so much going on. It's so easy to miss it, you know, to really put too much color in it to the point where you're not going to be able to tell what it is. I'm kind of concerned. Something interesting about me that people are surprised about is when, when I was young, I used to want to be a professional wrestler. And for a little while, we actually, uh, me, my brother, and my friend Don, we were putting on shows. We had a professional wrestling ring. Uh, we were doing spots, thumbtacks, chairs, jumping off of gazebos, houses, ladders, all that stuff. All right, how's it going, Joseph? Moving. Yeah? Let me check this out. Oh yeah, you're being very methodical right now. What are you focusing on right now? Uh, the outside so I can get the contrast for the inside. Okay. Trying to set it up for a little bit later? Yeah. But I'm having to like move back and forth, like calm the skin down, come over here, calm that skin down, come over here. Yeah, it's looking amazing, man. Yeah, this one's gonna be a hard one because everyone's coming with some heat, dude. The biggest struggle for me uh, is myself. You know, I'm my biggest critic and uh, just continually trying to over push myself to the next barrier and the next limit to help progress myself. Being here today, uh, a little nerve wracking to be honest, uh, but I'm happy I'm here and there's amazing artists and I'm excited to see what everyone can do. When I walked in, it was a crazy feeling because then I was like, it's real. It's happening right now. I started signing that consent form and I looked at Kevin and I was like, I'm shaking right now, man. I'm a little nervous. Like, I've never liked that. Uh, being selected for this competition was pretty nerve wracking. Like, uh, I enjoyed competing, so I was very excited about it. But uh, I also really, really, really dislike losing. So I'm just like, uh, I hope that doesn't happen. I'm just honored to be part of the process. There's a lot of dope tattooers here, some super dope judges, and just to be considered and have the opportunity to uh, play and compete. It's just very nice. What's up? So I'm laying down this like background uh, textures, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure if it's like really showing through. Um, in, like certain areas it is, obviously, because of the lighter mm -hmm. tones. Uh, and I'm, not, I'm wondering, maybe I should switch to blue instead of purple. What, what's really going to help you on this situation is uh, avoid the purple because it's not helping you. What you want to do is mix your black with your red. And that's going to give you brown, a darker brown. But very slowly though, because that black is going to take over so fast. Right, right, right. So you have to be right. ready to just, you know, up the contrast underneath the lip. Right. Because you're doing it exactly how the image is. Right. So dip it once on your black and then go to your red and then dip it 10 times. Next thing what you want to do is when you go in, don't commit, just test it out. Just do like a little dot. All right, it's getting better. Going back to your black, it's just testing it out. And then once on your red. Still have some of that ink. Oh, yeah, that's, that's it. That's, what we want. that's the one. That's it. Oh, that's it. You, and do that. Do that underneath that lip. Yeah. Exaggerate it because yeah. you want those fingers to stand out. So exaggerate it. Right. Quick little announcement. I don't want to freak anybody out, but we do have three hours and ten minutes. So I don't want to put pressure on anybody. Three hours and ten minutes. I am so grateful to be part of this competition, to be considered one of the six artists, part of something so incredible like this, and to be part of history. Well, immediately walking in, you can feel the warm welcome from Kevin, from everybody here, uh, to put something like this together. Uh, I can only imagine how many months of work it's took to, to create something like this. It's incredible. What's up, man? How you doing, man? How you doing? Making my way. Getting yeah. closer and closer, more we get. 
You think you have uh, enough time to uh, get through that background and uh, get up, get all those warm tones in there also? Um, right. Once I just get these other like these bones done, mm -hmm. uh, after that, it's all pretty much warm tones. A little, you got a little bit to go. Huh? Yeah, I know, yeah. dude. It's getting yeah, close. So. <laughs> I'm sweating a little bit, but we're making it. We're getting it. Um, if I win, my five thousand dollars would certainly be spent on my family. But what I'm most excited about that we didn't even know about until today is the uh, awesome sculpture from uh, Kevin's dad as uh, the take home. So I'm really excited about getting that trophy. Yeah, I really want to just get a uh, full range of depth in there. Just, uh, you know, make it more interesting to look at, add some appeal to the design. We know we wanted a specific beer because this is uh, the beer that Bear was actually drinking. So just based off of knowing I had to use yellow, I immediately went with purples for the uh, black bear. So I try not to overthink it. Uh, like I just mentioned, I like to keep very simple colored schemes, whether that be complementary or double complementary. And a lot of times, based off of what the people ask for, uh, one or two colors is already predetermined. So I just pick all my other colors based off of that. How, how we feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good. It's going to be down to the wire, but... I feel like we're going to get the last few uh, details, okay. the last, uh, the light tones and everything right at the very end. Throughout the whole competition, how do you feel like uh, you've been doing as far as like your nerves, your excitement, you know, everything in general, all your emotions combined? Honestly, it's been a roller coaster, the, the opportunity to showcase my artwork alongside such amazing artists, everybody who's here, it's been incredible. Yeah, man, well, keep killing it, and I can't wait to see the whole thing finish. Thank you, bro. Thank of you. Course. Definitely inspired already, you know what I mean? Just seeing everybody lay out their stencils, and, um, you know, these guys are definitely dope artists. This is looking fucking amazing. Thank it's you, man. super amazing. I appreciate it, bro. Did you get a little concerned about that cover-up when you, you first know, started? You know, yeah, I did, bro. Um, you could definitely tell... Uh, my wonderful client slash apprentice <laughs> did it himself so i immediately seen it and knew that it was scarred like i said i had told you earlier i wanted to kind of push it move the whole thing up but i figured we're here at your shop mm -hmm. gotta go do some cover up where the cover up <laughs> that you know what i mean <laughs> when i seen you do it, i'm like there's no way he's doing that cover up they wonder is he trying to make a statement out here <laughs> <laughs> trying to do a little something for you you know what i mean so we got Close to two hours. What do you think on time? Uh, pretty good. You know, I think I got, I got a bit away from me a little bit. I was definitely um, taking my time to eat, kind of mm -hmm. hang out with friends and all that. But yeah, now exactly. that I'm back on, I think like I'm still back right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? All right, one more announcement. One more announcement. I know everybody is uh, getting ready to finish, and I know you guys need a little extra time, so I'm gonna add 30 minutes. Oh, 30 more minutes. Oh, <laughs> I know he's always dope, he's always killing it. And then I seen his, when I seen the piece, I was just like, oof. The pieces, the artistry, the effort, the time, the planning that goes into these, to the fact that they're executing these in a, in a allotted amount of time is crazy to me. Let's come watch Thomas the Artist at the Tattoo Warriors here in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh man, that was amazing. Just seeing him in his groove, do his thing around all other great artists. It's inspiring and motivating both at the same time. A little highlight on the eyes. All done. That's it, bro. Wrapped it up. We're 15 minutes left. I felt truly honored to be selected as one of the six artists to compete in this competition. I know like it was probably hundreds of artists that applied. So to be one of the chosen six is like a, a tremendous honor. The moment we have all been waiting for. Who's gonna win best tattoo of the day and who's gonna get eliminated? <sighs> How you guys feel? Yeah, it was a long day, huh? Well, I wanna say uh, congratulations, you guys did amazing today. 
we were walking around all day and I honestly can't believe the amount of talent we have in one room. You know, having someone win best a day and one getting eliminated almost feels unfair. Like, it just, whoever does win best a day, congratulations. Whoever gets eliminated, it is not because you did a bad tattoo. It's just that it's really hard to choose among so many great tattoos today that honestly, it's gonna be really hard. It's gonna be very uncomfortable too. Yeah, man, it was, this is gonna be hard. It's difficult um, because yeah, you guys came with some heat and uh, I think it's gonna come down to a, a couple things that you guys did. I, I'm like uh, super excited just to see who's gonna win and you know, it's been a pleasure just witnessing all your guys' hard work today. Ah, yeah. Round of applause for you guys, round of applause for you guys. All right, let's begin. Let's start with Jacob. All right, let's see. A little bit closer. I like how big you went for sure. Definitely that little crown of the one on the top kind of added a little cherry on the top. Roger. Oh, it looks like a sticker. It's crazy. Consistent line work even through even those through. areas. Right. Yeah. That's a big, like, you know. I was a little nervous, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I was a little nervous with the, with the muted tones, but yeah. it looks very bright. I think before you added those yellows, I was like, oh, man. Yeah. All right, Joseph. For me, what did it is that little rock on the cheekbone. Yeah, this is very technically, uh, it's there. Yeah. The application is crazy. Big C. Having so many details in there, it's, it can be, can be tricky. Uh, the reflection and I don't know why I'm getting nervous. I'm not, I'm not even competing. <laughs> Moe. Man, yes, I really love the color behind it. Right. And I really love those little flaming. The little embers. Yeah, the yeah. embers, there you go. Yeah. I was gonna, the, the flame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who is this guy? Who invited me? <laughs> the line work and the attention to detail as far as like mm -hmm. that armor right there. Thomas, we needed those 30 minutes. <laughs> so we're gonna talk, we're gonna figure out who's gonna win best tattoo of the day and the winner is gonna get a gift basket from higher level. And unfortunately, one of you is gonna get eliminated. There. Are. I want to cry. <laughs> All right, give us five minutes. Go ahead and relax. Go chill for a little bit, and we'll talk about it. You know what? Um, after seeing those tattoos calm down and settle for the ones that got done early, mm -hmm. it, it made a world of difference. You know, for mm -hmm. some of those those highlights and uh, that contrast that they that they had. All right, who who's your top three? Joseph's for one, the technicality um, that, that was involved in that, you know, just I was searching for spots that I didn't like. If I was to choose my top three, Thomas, uh, Joseph, and Roger for me. Well, during, during the process of the buildup, I was leaning more towards Thomas because Thomas had the contrast the entire time. Joseph didn't have the contrast until the very end. But that's, that's what's tough about it, because sometimes the pieces don't look great until the very end, until you got that last little bit. Just like, just like Roger with that yellow, it was muted, 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 and then all of a sudden it just went pop. Yeah. Dude, that, we, were, we were struggling. We were really struggling, because it got very complicated. You know, we looked at everybody, and we realized that it, every single one is an amazing tattoo. And, we have two, three runner-ups for best of day today. And the first runner-up is Roger. 
Second person that we really like is Joseph. Final artist um, is uh, Thomas. Yeah, this was tough, you know, because everybody here came with some heat. And uh, like I said, it came down to some choices you guys made. So it made it very, very challenging for us because, yeah, you guys have different, different styles. You guys are going for different things. And uh, yeah, all three of you guys had some, some really good stuff. Absolutely. We were even looking into things like, uh, did they go up to the line with that same tone or down to was that color saturated was that black saturated um, all those factors how's it going to heal and you know it's 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 a definitely a tough decision and uh we came to a decision <laughs> oh man this is this is tough man the best tattoo of the day goes to joseph <laughs> It wasn't easy. Yeah, it, it wasn't, wasn't easy. easy. Now we have to decide, or we're about to announce who gets eliminated. We came down to a decision, and the person that gets eliminated today, <laughs> oh man, this is hard. It's Moet. So sorry, my guy. Th thank you for joining the competition. We appreciate you. <laughs> oh man. And my stomach was churning the whole time, but uh, I appreciate you so much for joining the competition. It is a big deal that you guys are all here. I thought somebody was going to drop the ball pretty hard, but nobody dropped the ball. You know what I mean? Every piece was, was amazing. So congratulations, guys. Big round of applause for you guys. You guys made it. <sighs> and we'll see you guys next weekend. Congratulations, bro. Thank you. Yes, sir. That's everything sponsored from us, and you could choose up to four cartridges here and one on everything on the table, bro. Thank you. Of course, bro. Appreciate it, man. Congratulations again. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Perfect.